so hello and today I will be introducing to you my art app that I have always used on a new iPad. That's why I haven't changed the background. So yeah. So we'll go ahead and get into it. Oh my god, we ended on that. Back to my thing. So it starts off as this. This is a bunch of other people's drawings. Daily ranking. Weird, I don't use it. Online gallery collection, which is nothing for me. And then my gallery, this, the these two are the only th <laughs> these two are the only two things I've been working on lately. So yeah, mostly I'm working on this stuff. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, it's it's gonna be a ceiling once I once I finish it, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But right now don't allow. Okay. Back to my gallery. So today I'm going to teach you how to draw dragon eyes. It actually quite easy. So first, kind of make it like that shape, and then I can't really describe this as anything. Like that shape of that. Like, kind of like a map lead in the dirt. Like if there's a line, like right here, like a mound. And then. Oh my god, what's happening? Okay, like this. And then, hang on, I like to make my circles perfect. Gonna, and then you're gonna add the people somewhere here. I'm actually gonna add the people right here. I'm gonna make a circle. That will be your people. It looks creepy right now. Do not color it in black. At first, when I was watching the tutorial for this, credit to Biohazardy up. Credit to Biohazardia, fellow YouTuber. This was actually a long time ago, so I've known this technique for a while, but I haven't brought it up to use. Don't color it in black like I did the first time. No, don't. Bad. And then, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna say, Four colors. Yes, it's four. My house already helped me. Is it four? Yes, it is. My house already didn't say that. That was me. I uh, I just paused it and went to see the video to see if it was four. So I'm gonna actually take these four right here. This is gonna be a neon one, like we use for the really light stuff. It'll be the light, just plain up light, and then the medium, and then the these are all shades of blues, so yeah. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead, take the actual really dark one, color in the pupil with it. I actually like to that, and then. just happened. I don't know what 
what just happened? Don't don't ask me. I heard a noise. It's not my dog in the background. Yes, hi, yes, yes, hi, hi. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my god. He's hugging me so I can't stop petting him. Oh, Jesse. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by my dogs. <laughs> Cut around the people like that. I actually like to get rid of the back. Right doing that. Grabbing a bucket. Doing that. Brush and color in the back. Why am I? Which one am I using again? Which one am I using That's my dog. That's Jesse. Again. I have memorized all my dogs based on what they look like. There, that's gonna be the eye so far. So far. And then you're actually gonna. Make it a bit small. And a bit lighter. And like shade it. I actually don't do it that way. It's way easier. Actually draw a line on where the shading ends. Color in that whole thing. Color in. Go over with the line right here. And here, because there's a little there, if you can see it. So you don't have to worry about the lighting from the actual outside of tablets. That's why I like tablet drawing, or phone drawing, or I don't care. This is an iPad. Right? It's an iPad. Hang on. That's an iPad, yeah. <laughs> and then, we use the blur tool. If it'll work. And do some nice blurring. I also
also sometimes like to do coloring on the actual pupil too. Because it actually looks nice. Then you need to grab, grab your medium, like light color. Make it big. And then I'm actually gonna use the circular ruler for this. But you don't have to, of course. Like if you get this this app to do it. Delete the circular ruler. making sure I'm not in circular mode anymore and then actually you're going to blur blur it first Actually, we're not going to do that, and then we're going to actually blur it all, of course, hang on, yeah, I already got it for a After we blur it all, we can go ahead and take the neon color. The size a bit lower. And do that. Do a little less on one side because that's the side that they're looking. One, two, three, four, five on that side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do three on this side. Do one right here. So do one less. Then we're gonna go ahead and take the blur and blur it. Yeah, I think I know better. I'm gonna go ahead and take the straight ruler.
trying to their booze right there and you want to do that. That's just one of my friends walking by over there. And then you actually want to change to white. And then you're gonna go ahead and get rid of that little there, actually, there, there. You're gonna go, go ahead and color those in. Doesn't really make a difference to blur at this point, but I'll still blur. Then of course we'll take the blur and blur it. And then of course if you want to do this, this actually works really good for me. So I would take my brush, make it white, or just use the eraser. Max that. Get rid of those right there. And then I would go in, grab that. Oh my god. Grab black. And uh, go ahead and. Then I would do that and whatever um color let's say the color outside is that one like the scale color is that 
so then we need, of course, go into bucket. Pretend I'm actually filling everything up. My apple pen isn't working, hang on. There. Pretend that's actually filling everything up. Pretend nothing's wrong. If it, if it, if it, I'm too busy to do that, actually. But I hope it won't make a difference. And then, actually, after I take a pen and actually do that, ugh. I'm not used to this new recording thing. Normally, I would pause the recording, then do all this, and then I wait, and then do, and then go around, and you know, I do actual very small amounts at a time. Thing. And actually, here's the thing. I cannot draw anything unless I have the ability to zoom in. That's why I don't like Spark that much. Also, why Elizabeth is possibly watching, I'm sure she's not. I'm sure, totally sure she's not. But add that Spark, make us able to zoom in. Please, please, please. Like, I can't draw anything on this part. This, I mean, it's just me. Because, like, I, I, I work better. And also, I had a pen stabilizer. Because this has that. That's why I can draw straight lines. Because this has a pen stabilizer. If I turned off the pen stabilizer, here's what it would look like. Hang on. Let me open Spark. Here. Spark. Where are you? I'm actually going to use Spark, so. Nope, hang on. See, I'm actually this much stable. Normally, that would turn to that. Normally. That would turn into, hang on, let me change the color. That. And this. Like, see, there's still some not stable at, at the ends, but that's because the pen type I'm using. And because I will generally never be stable. Okay, just pretend I hated all of that. Uh, I am really hoping that you not find it hard to do this because I'm not doing it on a subject. I have done it on a subject before. So, if you want to see me it on a subject, like, I'm not going to do it, but like, this is it on a subject. Yeah, uh, do, 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 do. I'm not going to draw the rest. This was just for fun. I'm probably just going to go ahead and erase that now. Bye. 
say goodbye. You can always pause. Oh my god, it's still there. You can still, of course, pause at the moment. So, yeah. I have an actual twig at my screen, so where I am right now, I'm moving around a twig. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> oh my god, this is fun. Oh, the twig got caught on the pen now. Bye, twig. There, it's gone. Anyway. Also, soon I'm going to draw a free base for dragons for you to use, if you would like that. So, yeah. Uh, but I'm hoping you like this video. I'm hoping it was short, <laughs> so I haven't looked at it.